All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and today we're looking at the Fantax NV7 case. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a full water cool build in this PC. That'll be coming up on the channel, so get subscribed if you wanna see the build. This is a really cool chassis, so I wanted to show you some of the features about this case and its setup and all the cool little things Fantex has done on this case. First things first is the back door is magnetic, swings out like this, and you have cable tracks for all of your cables to cable manage, so you can better cable manage your desk, which is a very cool feature. Now the chassis itself is very easy to blow apart. Captive thumb screws on most of the panels. The top as well. Obviously I've already put components in here, so a lot of this stuff is already loosened. And obviously you've got a lot of access to things. Door just slides off like that and comes out as well. As you can see, I have a 360 radiator in the top. This is all for mock-up purposes. Tray back here will support a 360 radiator or four 120 millimeter fans. And this part does not have a captive thumb screw, it just screws in from the top. But this whole fan assembly comes out, pops out, and you have full access to screw on your fans. Put a, to add a pump res combo as well, which is the way I'm going. Bottom tray is secured by a non-captive thumb screw. And this will of course slide out. And you can also put it in in the reverse to get a angled for fans or radiators. Tray will fit 120 fans as well as 140 fans. It will not fit anything bigger than a 240 radiator or a 360 radiator, but it easily comes out. And again, all this stuff is for planning of my loop but you have real easy access to pretty much everything in the case. Now this front panel as well, this front glass panel, two screws, and it also comes out as well so you have full access to do your loop. Now quick note, the motherboard tray. There is no screws holding this in right now. Now Fantex has done a really nice quality of life thing for builders because this chassis is heavy, big. Thing with these standoffs right here and here, they actually have little catches on them. So when you put the motherboard in, it kind of clips on and it's real easy for it to hold. You don't have to try to hold it. It's really nice because you can just pop it in. You don't have to worry about it popping out on you or not staying level because all you got to do, come in with the motherboard, of course line everything up and it's there, it stays. So you don't have to worry about having to hold everything to line up to screw in your screws. Really nice quality of life feature. And trust me, I've moved this chassis a bunch. They hold really well. Now, of course, you've got a dust cover that comes out the back. That's not my favorite because it comes out the back, meaning you have to move it against wherever you've got it. For me, it'll be that wall. <laughs> That's not the best. Now this back cover is held on with one screw pops off like that, giving you great access to cable manage. Now, like a Lee and Lee case, the power supply sits up here. It is a two chamber, just like the Lee and Lee. Some nice features that they've also added is the power switch cable is integrated. So it's just one plug instead of all those little connectors. And you've got very nice feature for, especially for this AMD system. You have access to the back of the motherboard to take off the CPU block if you wanna change it or repaste it. Very nice feature, as well as a compartment for drive storage or cable management. Really nice compartment. You've got a tray here to put SSDs on. This build will be 100% MVME, so not really a concern for me, but really nice quality of life features in this case. You do have this uh, hub here to plug in for LEDs. You just need a JST adapter for your ARGB. Those control the integrated light bars here and here. Both of these are removable. This one just pops out, giving you access to the top of your motherboard to plug things in. This one also is movable. It has a couple different configurations, but I'm not gonna take it out because I don't need to mess with it, but this just clips in and then has pogo pins at the end of it to connect to the RGB. 
and it just goes onto two pegs, slots in. Now let's talk fans. This is something that, well, <laughs> will eat up a lot of money. On the back tray, I've got three Lee and Lee fans already mounted. The reason for that is I'm mounting a pump res combo here. And if I put four fans on it, and one it has to be mounted a certain way and that puts my pump res combo too low. Bottom tray can only mount three fans or a 360 radiator and three fans, but it can also mount a couple of 120 fans. Now the bottom tray also, you know, as I said, can be mounted tilted or straight, depending on which orientation you put it in. Three 120s and obviously a 360 rad or, or a 240 radiator can't mount a 420. A 420 radiator will not fit anywhere in this chassis. Trust me, I have one, I wanted to use it. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit it. The top mount can only fit a 360 or three fans. It cannot fit any more than that. You have to go stay, it, and it only fits 120 fans, so just something to be aware of. It has a mount for two fans at the back of 120 as well. Obviously, I'm gonna populate as much with Lee and Lee fans, and a couple quick notes on it as far as dust filtration. There's not much. This is just a screen. There is no filter. Bottom has a filter, the top does not. So something to be aware of. So definitely a very cool case. I'm really happy I got this. I originally was getting a Corsair 7000D, but unfortunately, <laughs> my hair looks like crap, but unfortunately my uh, order got lost by Amazon <laughs> and Newegg had this available. I could get it the next day and I wanted to get started on this project. So boom. If you want to see me do a full water cooled build, it will be AMD based system. You can do a 4080 water cooled, two 360 radiators, EK block for the CPU, EK pump res combo. So if you want to see the water cooled build, get subscribed. I'm going to be doing this on the channel for the next couple of weeks. So that is the Fantex NV7 PC case blown apart. Look at all this room for activities. Very cool. Very happy I got this chassis. Hope you like this. Look at the Fantex NV7 case. Want to see the build coming up? Get subscribed. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.